Uh, hello, we're here in uh, Moranga in central Kenya. And uh, James, would you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Pastor James. I come from Maragua. I reside in central Kenya, in a country called Ke uh, in, 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 in a country in a country called Kenya. And myself, uh, been in, in a three days conference with a man of God, Jonathan Men, and uh, he was, has been taking us through expository preaching. And I would like to say that it has been a good cause because it has assisted us to, to learn a lot of things that uh, that uh, are relevant to the Word of God. And uh, I would like to say that uh, it, it has been of much hope to us with the Church of Christ, especially here in Kenya, where you know most of us, uh, most of us pastors, we preach haphazardly. <laughs> we talk word like uh, uh, we just take a scripture and start quoting things that are out of the brute. But now I believe we are becoming better preachers. Can you tell me was was there something, uh, one thing or a couple of things that you found most helpful? Uh, that you learned in the course on expository preaching? Yeah, number one is that I, I have to do introduction part, 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 part of my sermon to let, uh, to let people catch up with what, uh, to, let people know, uh, to, to, to let people know that I am a man living in a world where there are many troubles, where there are problems, and to raise those issues as uh, based on the sermon of the day. And uh, also I have to apply something called propos proposition. That, that that is the unifying the unifying term in a given passage, we, of which will help us to take the people through to carry them on in a given track, and at the same time uh, to to make some uh, organizational sentences that, uh, that, that 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 will let people know what uh, where am I taking them and to keep the focus of the sermon, and that by the end of, uh, as I come to the to the end of it, it is also good to explain the sermon unto them as per the per, per the today's. Uh, 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 issues or uh, to, to the issues that they they might be facing to the challenges that they may, may be going through and uh, as I conclude my messages to let them know the conclusion of the message in a literal uh, in, in, in a simple language and uh, to make a conclusive short and uh, uh, in a summary form. Do you think you're going to be able to apply this in your church and do you foresee that this is going to affect how you're preaching? Yes, you know as the Bible says that uh, uh, as the Bible says that uh, iron sharpens iron. I believe now I am sharper. And since now that I'm sharper through another man of God who has been sharpened by him, and having taken that knowledge and that element of wisdom within me, as I go out, I'll, I'll, I'll practice it to my level best, to my, to the level be I mean, to my level best of knowledge, I'll apply it in the church, I'll apply it outside, and I'll bring the body of Christ together and make sure that the body of Christ is growing daily and taking the right direction. James, thanks very much for your time. God bless you. 